uh, that's not a good way to start the video out. <laughs> I have some uh, uh, Buccilokis here. Actually, I have four of them. I just took this one out of the bag for a second, put it down, barely touched it, just the outside, and then, of course, immediately itched my eye with the finger I touched it with. So my eye is burning. Um, yeah, I figured I'd do a, uh, a pod review. I have, uh, I've done a video of the ghost pepper or Buccilokia before. Whew, starting to burn. Um, I did a dried version uh, like a year and a half or two years ago. And did on the porch in my old house, and uh, it killed me. It's extremely hot pepper. The endorphin rush I got from it was very euphoric. I, I like didn't know where I was. It was really kind of a strange experience when it gets super hot. So when it gets that that incredibly hot, it's just it's an amazing experience. Um, but I want to do a fresh pod. These are uh, courtesy of my friend Haas. Oh God. Um, I did an unboxing showing the pepper sauce and I did bring out some pods. Oh my god, it's burning. Oh, it's killing me. So, man. All right, so <laughs> let's put one in my mouth too. Why not, right? So, yeah, I got uh, four Buccilokias. I picked the biggest one of this group. They say, I mean, they're all about the same size, but it looks like the biggest one to me. And, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the fresh pod. Now, just on the outside, I'm burning here. Um, very strong smell. Very fruity. Buccilokias tend to have a, a very smoky flavor, at least from when I've had them in sauces and when I've tried the dried one. Um, but it's very distinguishable, and it just it smells so strong. I didn't even cut this open yet. It's just the outside of the skin of the pod. And it's it's in your face. It's a very unique smell. It actually smells really good. It, it's kind of it's um it's strange to explain, but it's fruity. It's unique. There's nothing quite like it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it really, but I can tell you my my right eye is burning really bad. Um, I do have a bottle of water, which will not help me whatsoever. It's just icy cold, so hopefully it'll numb my mouth a little bit. And I do have a tall cup of cold whole milk. All right, so hopefully that will help a little bit as well. I also have a uh, upchuck bucket in case I puke or I'm sure I'll be spitting a lot into this. A lot of spittle. So we will see how that works out. But uh, anyway, no further ado, I'm going to cut this open. We're going to look at the inside real quick. I do have a new knife I'm going to be reviewing. I'm using it today to cut this open. This is a Schrad melon tester, and no, this is not melon, but I will be testing it. <laughs> so, anyway, first things first, let's cut this pot open and see what we got on the inside here. Cut this just straight in half. Very careful not to squirt juice into my face. It's right, I can't see. All right. So here's the man. It's such a, a strong smelling pod. Here's um. Should be wearing gloves for this, but there's both halves. Let me just show you one of these so I don't want to drop it on something. It's amazing. You barely have to touch this, and it just it burns like crazy. I know webcam doesn't really do much for you, but uh, in looking at this, let me pull the stalk off here. I don't need that anymore. Um, lots of seeds on this. Uh, lots of membrane. The membranes, the uh, or excuse me, the membrane or placenta, it's what holds the seeds, what the seeds are connected to. A lot of people think the seeds have all the heat, although the seeds are extremely hot. It's the placenta that holds the most capsaicin, and uh, I know it's going to be super, super hot. You can actually see; it's hard to see. I, I really got more experience with this with the uh, Maruga scorpions, but in some areas here, you can actually see where the oil um, almost drips out, like it's sweating. And that's the uh, the pure capsaicin in this pepper. But uh, anyway, yep, yep, yep. Let me get uh, the other stalk off. It will be suffering. It will burn tremendously. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Testing out for you, an official test. So here is, let me 
get the rest of that stock off. Eh, whatever. I got a little stock on there. That won't hurt me too bad. The overall grand scheme of things here. So a fresh boot jalokia or ghost chili. Um, I have not had anything spicy in about three weeks. Cold turkey, no hot sauce on anything, no peppers, nothing spicy at all. So this will probably kick my butt. You do get a tolerance. You build a tolerance when you have uh, hot things on a continuous basis or continuous, uh, continuous basis. Yeah, that's what I just said. I'm, I'm actually nervous. I'm stumbling on my words. Whew. All right. Here we go. Fresh Puchalokia. Flavor is very fruity. A lot of seeds. Immediate burn. <coughs> uh, so I'll caught my throat. A lot of seeds, very, very thin walled. Overwhelming burn. Overwhelming burn. The entire mouth, my throat. We can feel my heart rate going up. My whole face is getting hot. Taking a sip of this to wash the seeds down. Get out of my teeth. Tremendous burn. It's climbing up my jawline into my ears. And it's only it's only building. When you meet something like this for the first time, you're like, I couldn't imagine anything being this hot. And that's only beginning. It starts to burn more and more and more. Sorry for being disgusting. I want to drool a lot, but tremendous, tremendous burn. My entire, my whole face is tingling. It's it's so hot that you uh, you don't even know how to feel. You're just you're in shock, you know. But tremendous pain in my ear. The mouth and throat it feels like one. Already I feel like I'm on cloud nine. The endorphins kick in and try to counter the pain. And uh, it's a really weird feeling. Uh, slight dizziness. You definitely get in a panicky mode. I'm going for the milk already. The milk doesn't, it helps like a, for like a second and then it's like whatever. It's like it never happened. Um, oh, my ears, my ears, my jaw, all in here, my face. It just hurts. You turn into a, a saliva factory. You can't think. If someone were to ask me like math questions, I couldn't do four times four. You just you, you think nothing except for get rid of this pain. It hurts too much. I cook with one of these, not this specific batch, but I cooked with a ghost uh, pepper about a month and a half ago, and I didn't finish my meal. It was uncomfortable to eat, but I know I used too much pepper for what I was doing. Whole body's tingling. My mouth, the entire mouth is on fire. It's still climbing. It's it's really, it's insane, the amount of heat. It doesn't matter how, like I've had hotter peppers. It doesn't mean this doesn't burn anymore. This is tremendously painful. It's past uncomfortable, it's actually painful. 
hurts all in my throat in the back. Of, I feel like the back of my throat. Like someone has a Zippo on the, on the back of my neck. It's amazing how much pain you actually get from this. I think that uh, the United States uh, soldiers, this would be a great little test. I don't know a lot of soldiers go through like the, the mustard gas room and it blows out their sciences, all the crap. Give them a ghost pepper. If they can handle that, they're on the way to becoming a soldier. Of course, I'm talking at my butt. I can't be a soldier. And I'm having a hard time handling this pepper. It's just extremely hot. I'm trying not to overreact, but it is extremely hot. I want to freak out. If you've never had anything this hot, you will freak out. My hand's actually shaking a little bit. Your nerve, your body's in panic mode. Your body's trying to tell you what the frig. You want to get rid of it, but you can't. Mm. By the way, worst thing you could possibly do ever is puke. Um, if you have no food in your stomach, you get terrible, terrible cramps. Capsaicin cramps are the worst. It's like nothing you've ever felt before. It's like needles inside your stomach. The water doesn't really do anything for you at all. It's just the cold, the coldness of it. Even the milk, the second you swallow, I mean, immediately when you swallow, you feel like, oh, that's getting better. And before you can even have the thought of it getting better, it's gone. Like it never happened. Ugh, it's still climbing. That's the thing with the ghost pepper. <clears throat> Is that, uh, it's a slow riser. And it's bad. It's really bad. My whole head hurts. I feel it in my face. My nose is starting to drool. My uh, my eyes hurt. Like I said, you start to shake. Your body goes into uh, panic mode. Sorry, I don't like spitting on camera. It's weird. Mm. It's, uh, it's a terrible thing. It's not fun at all. Um, why do we do it? Why do pepperheads and chili heads do it? I don't know. It's a novelty. That's all it is. Oh, God. <coughs> oh. Ah. You can't. Oh, God. I hate having drool on me. Sorry. No, it's pretty gross. Um, as far as the review portion of it, the flavor is very good. The pepper has a very thin wall, so it's not a whole lot of pepper. Like when you bite into a, a red bell pepper, it's crunchy, it's juicy, it's big. This is not. This is, uh, it's very thin. The bulk of the pepper are seeds, hard little seeds, incredibly hot. You don't get to enjoy the flavor. The second you think, ooh, that's good, ow, that hurts. You don't get to enjoy it very long. Um, the flavor is kind of smoky. Initially, it's extremely fruity. It's a very unique flavor. Nothing else in the world tastes like it that I've ever had. It's very good, but I wish you can have that flavor without any heat. So you get to actually enjoy it, uh, particularly in food like salsas or, you know, Mexican food or, um, you know, chili, such, uh, things like that. I think that, uh, it's hot. It's a hot pepper. At this point, I think the heat peaked, but it's a slow climber. And once it peaks, you're like, I can't take it anymore. And it doesn't, it doesn't go up and peak and then drop back down. It goes up. It peaks to like unbearable. And then it just stays really, really hot for a while and slowly descends. 
Some peppers get really, really hot and then drop off real fast. Oh. This one's really hurt my ears. It, it literally feels like someone just shoved this into my ear on both sides and is twisting it. That's the pain I feel in my ears. And it's really weird. I don't know why I feel in my ears. I didn't shove the pepper in my ear, but that's what I feel like. <coughs> oh, burping hurts. Um, drooling hurts. Breathing in. <coughs> Not that bad. Breathing out hurts really bad. Don't know why. That's why when you have people have hot peppers, they you go. <coughs> but when you breathe out, it intensifies that. I don't know why that is. But it is. Yeah, it's intense. <coughs> By the way, shout out to uh, Ted Barris. The reason I'm doing this pod review is I just watched his video from the Chili Festival. Watch a bunch of guys and gals eat a bunch of hot chilies. And I thought to myself, hey, this looks fun. Let me try a chili. By the way, my eye is still on fire, but uh, I forgot about it, you know, because my mouth hurts so much and my ears, particularly my ears, they're, they're hurting. It's actually painful where my mouth is just very uncomfortable. I still have the flavor of the pepper in my mouth, but it's not enjoyable. Oh, and every now and then, a little piece or a seed pops out of your teeth and hits you in the throat or hits you in the back of the mouth and it starts burning again like you just ate it. Burning out of milk. Like I said, it's very euphoric because of the endorphin rush. Uh, I can't get up and walk around because I actually get dizzy when I have super hots. I get very like uneasy. I lose my balance. It's it's a really weird experience. Like I said, the whole body is uh, tingly. It's like being on cloud nine. It's really really unique. <sighs> the pepper definitely peaked. I'm just rotting out the slow descent. Super super hot. Uh, uh, I was a little congested. No longer am I congested. Throat. All on the side of the throat. Mouth, mouth burn. Right now, my mouth burns like a uh, super, super hot hot sauce. But the throat's painful. It actually hurts. I'm telling you, it's nothing like watching videos on this. When you do something like this in person, like you watch a video and you're going, oh yeah, that must be really, really hot. I can do that. No big deal. You got no friggin' idea. You really have, you have no idea, man. If you've never tried these things, you can't fathom how it feels. You can't even, you can't comprehend how hot things can actually get. It's extremely hot. Wow. <laughs> trying to keep this as least gross as possible. My did the Maruga Scorpion video with the ice cream and stuff. I mean, it's all over the place. I know it's nasty. No one wants to, wants to watch someone else spit or drool or have crap in their face. <clears throat> now, I had a little bit of food in my stomach before I tried this. But not much, not much. And I'm getting the, the cramps already. I'm starting to get the capsaicin cramps. Um, my whole throat is burning. Like I can feel it down my esophagus into like my chest area. And I can feel it coating my stomach right now. And it's not good. It's hot. Mm. Out of water. One sip of milk left. Nose is cleared out. Wish I had a tissue right now. We're going to blow the rest of it out. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's it's uh, it's definitely lowering at this point. But just super, super hot. Ridiculously hot. Um, don't use these as pranks. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not funny. It's pretty funny. But it, it's scary. Some people, uh, the pepper won't kill you. However, you can have a panic attack. It can be a you know heart attack-inducing experience if, if you're not ready for it, particularly if you're older or if you have a bad ticker. So don't don't prank people and give them stuff this hot uh, without their, their their knowledge of it. But last sip of milk. 
Mm. <sighs> Not fun. But uh, yeah, the ghost chili or buccalocchio. Amazing flavor. I wish the peppers weren't this hot, honestly, because I can't. I can't enjoy this pepper. I enjoy the novelty of it. I enjoy enjoy doing videos and stuff. But I'll be honest, if there wasn't a camera right there and there wasn't no such thing as YouTube, I have no interest in eating these. It's just fun to do for other people to experience through you if they just don't want to do them themselves or are too scared to do them themselves. They can actually see what what other people are experiencing. That's what's interesting. But besides that. It's not, it's not something I do for fun all the time. I, I like trying things and I do have super, super hot stuff, but you know, I don't always grab something that's super, super hot to enjoy on food because it's not enjoyable. It's painful. Um, and then your body just doesn't, you want to get out. You don't want it in there and it makes you sick and you want to throw up and stuff. So anyway, that's pretty much it. You're not going to get much of a big reaction from this point out. Actually, I have to go blow my nose. Um, Besides that, I will probably get a little bit more milk to keep cooling down, but uh, it's definitely subsiding at this point. It's peaked. But, man, what a pepper. Um, not something to be taken lightly. Not something to screw around with. And by all means, wear gloves when you use it because my eye is on fire. It hurts. So, anyway, that's all. That's my review of the uh, a fresh Buccalokia or ghost chili pepper. So, thanks again, Haas, for sending these. Uh, awesome. I have three left. I will definitely dry them out and use them in small quantities and food in the future. And probably save the seeds for my own plants. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take care.